high dentist it's p square the first image comes in mind from the topic is dental stones and then toothpaste in bts dental material second year exam there is always a five marks question from this topic such as a short note on abrasion and polishing abrasion reminds us using stone burr on denture it is wearing away of a substance or structure through a mechanical process such as grinding rubbing or scraping it is of two types based upon number of bodies undergo wear as two body wear and three body wear example of two body wear is using stone burr on denture and example of three body wear is applying pumice with brush on acrylic classification of abrasives it's of three types finishing polishing and cleansing finishing are course one which are used to remove cross irregularities and develop initial contour example coarse stone polishing are fine size and less hard abrasives used to smooth the rough surface produced by finishing one example pumice and polishing cake cleansing are small particle size soft material that remove soft debris adhere to enamel or restoration types of abrasive a important viva question in which we cover all the names and few points of each emery natural oxide of aluminum called corundum impurities in it like iron oxide act as abrasive aluminum oxide pure alumina is used as polishing agent whereas alumina is also used in sand blasting machine garnet composed of different minerals having same physical properties and crystalline form glue is used as binder to coat it on paper or cloth pumice siliconous material of volcanic origin either used as abrasive or polishing agent rug excellent polishing agent for gold and noble metal alloy chalk calcium carbonate is used as dentrifices tin oxide zinc oxide chromium oxide sand and other forms of quartz are used as sandpaper or as powder in sand blasting equipment diamond the hardest abrasive carbides and zirconium silicates are other examples binder abrasive on disc or wheel are adhere to each other by a substance known as binder example ceramic bonding is done for silicon carbide electroplating with nickel is used to bind diamond chips on diamond rotatory instrument for soft grade abrasives rubber or charlock may be used characteristics of abrasive should be irregular in shape with sharp edges harder than working material have high impact strength should be a treason resistance so that it does not wear off during abrasion rate of abrasion there are three factors size of particle pressure applied and speed large particle produce deep scratches in material and wear away at faster rate coarse abrasives are used on surface with many rough spots or large nodules followed by fine ones so as to remove scratches produced by the coarse abrasives pressure heavy pressure produce deep scratches and more material is removed it can cause fracture or dislodge abrasive from the grinding wheel speed higher speed means more time the particles come in contact with the surface and more will be the abrasion mechanism of abrasion cutting tools like carbide burr have regular arranged cutting edges and remove material in regular arrangement whereas abrasive tool have irregular cutting edges resulting in innumerable random scratches cutting is essential action of abrasives each tiny particle represent a sharp edge that cuts through surface similar to chisel powder blocks the abrasive tool so frequent cleaning is required polishing a image comes in mind using pumice 
for polishing of denture it is production of a smooth mirror like surface without much loss of any external form difference between abrasion and polishing particle size large particle size act as abrasive but produce scratches whereas same abrasive or small particle size act as polishing agent material remove as compared to abrasives in polishing very little surface material is removed nearly 0.005 mm speed optimum speed for polishing is higher than abrasing it is why stone burrs can be used for polishing at high speed by applying light pressure however polishing is usually achieved by an abrasive process but shiny surface can be achieved through a non abrasive means such as application of glaze layer in case of composites and ceramics electrolytic polishing can be done which is reverse of electroplating alloy to be polish is made the anode and little material is removed burnishing as in case of polishing amalgam restoration procedure method of abrasion manually as proximal stepping of enamel using abrasive steps by rotatory instruments such as burrs buffs and discs by using blasting for example sand blasting to remove investment of casting use of coarse burr leaves scratches which are removed by fine ones in every great change of the abrasive direction should also be changed when no visible scratches are there then buff wheel at high speed is used for primarily polishing in which paste of pumice and water which is sticky muddy in consistency is used repeat it until smooth and polished surface is obtained at the end cleaning with soap and water is done followed by using buff wheel at high speed dentrifices commonly called toothpaste is very important direct question these are the agent used with a toothbrush to clean and polish natural teeth they should have maximum cleansing efficiency with minimum tooth abrasion available in different forms like paste powder gel or liquid form they contain abrasives water which act as vehicle humectants which protects the paste from drying detergents to decrease surface tension forming agents binders artificial sweeteners for pleasant taste coloring and flavoring agents such as mint some also contain therapeutic agents such as sodium fluoride for its anti carrageenic property denture cleansers materials for cleaning the denture as denture collect deposits in same manner as natural teeth during function deposits are removed by two ways either professionally repolishing in lab or clinic or soaking or brushing the denture daily at home brushing with soft bristle brush and gentle abrasive or cream is preferred as coarse abrasive results in roughening of denture surface soaking is alternative to brushing in which chemical cleansers are used they should be non irritant not attack on surface of denture examples are alkaline perborate alkaline peroxide alkaline hypochlorite and dilute acids thank you for watching please subscribe and like the video make sure to share the knowledge and video with your friends